Good morning, this is Mary Kay with Country Music Matters, and we are bringing on board a very handsome and some kind of diva-ish <laughs> Travis Rice. Good morning, Travis. Good morning. You're our first victim of the day. Uh, are you alive and awake I and am, ready for the yeah. day? I went to bed early last night, and uh, I didn't even party hard. I just, uh, just went to bed, woke up feeling good, and now I'm excited to be back. Well, it's still early in the day. It is tonight, yeah. Don't don't ask me that tomorrow, because it's going to be a different story. We don't ask a lot of people that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you are quoted as saying, if you want to know who I am, listen to my music. Absolutely. Let's hear about that. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's just that songwriting for me started as the uh, journalistic aspect, uh, definitely. And... Um, you know, I just, it's a piece of me, and that it started so organically that I just had to, a lot in me that I needed to deal with and needed to get out, and uh, song form is the way it came out, and I, I kind of got hooked on it, and uh, I don't think that'll ever change. Now, you have quite an array of music influences, ranging from your mom's uh, Michael Bolton to the Springsteen yeah. and into the country. How, did, how do you play all those into what you do? It's it's very natural, um, you know, because they are in me. I think it just it just kind of flows out. It's not really a conscious effort. It's more just a, uh, you know, something that happens. Um, you know, just kind of oozes out of me. And like I said, most of the time I don't even know I'm doing it. It's not like it's on purpose. It's just a uh, it's just a piece of me, and I'm I'm passing it along. Did your family at any time look at you and just say, "Are you sure this is what uh, you want to do?" No. No, uh, they're the they're the ones that have always just said uh, just go and do it and uh, you know, kind of figure it out as you go. Um, you know, my dad was always just really uh, he was the voice of, of reason. Uh, you know, he's the supportive one, but the you know if you're going to do it, you got to do it like you mean it. And uh, of course, luckily, mom loves everything I do, so uh, <laughs> that's good. But no, very supportive family, and they they've never. Uh, Asked me to check my uh, reality scale or anything that you know they know how complex and how difficult sometimes the business can be, but uh, they also know it's worth it to me. So it, now you originally are from Tennessee. Do you live here in Nashville now? I do now. Yes, uh, I'm from Crossville, Tennessee, about two hours outside of town. But uh, as of December 21st, I am an official Nashvilleian. <laughs> as you made your road to where you are now. What were some of the toughest challenges and roadblocks that you had to get over? Um, just knowing who I am and what my sound is, and you know, basically what I'm trying the the big goal of what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, you know, it's it's part of every artist's uh, early development is just finding out you know who you are and what you want to say, and um, you know, once you find that, everything else just kind of becomes gravy on the top. And uh, I was fortunate enough about two or three years ago to really get a strong sense of identity with that. And so now I'm just getting to kind of reap the rewards and really get close and super serve the fans that we have and the new fans that are coming in, luckily, in a, in a pretty quick fashion. Now, you're an independent singer-songwriter. Yes, ma'am. And is there a lot of trust? You have to find where you can trust people in this business. Yeah, I think it's, you know, that's any business. Uh, it, it's always the people around you. Uh, it really, it's. I don't even know if it's just uh, just business. It's just life. Uh, you know, you have to surround yourself with the right people uh, in the direction that you're wanting to travel. And I've been very fortunate. You know, we have a small team, but a very good team. And uh, you know, as it grows, we're very uh, kind of picky and uh, selective of who we let in the door because we know how important it is that that everybody's on the same page and you know has the same uh, big picture and same mindset. Now you were the prestigious. I guess I could say owner of a Discovery Award. <laughs> yes. Explain that to everyone. Uh, just, it was a great out of the gate uh, kind of a boost. Uh, we, our first uh, official, you know, single we put out. Gosh, I think it's been three years ago now. Um, you know, we were fortunate enough to get that, and so it was. You know, every singer and especially songwriter is a little insecure at times about what you're doing, especially early on. Uh, and so the Discovery Award just was kind of that stamp of approval from uh, you know tough critics in the business to uh, let us know that we're doing something right. And so yeah, it meant a lot as far as uh, building our momentum. Now, what songs that you've, that you've released or put on anything meant the most to you? Um, probably uh, when the fish didn't bite. It wasn't a you know we didn't really even do anything radio with it. We just did a, a social media push and. Uh, 
really got the fans involved with a, a lyric video that uh, everybody sent in pictures of them fishing with their families. And it's just, it's one of those songs that came together like everything I wanted to say just came out of me just the way I wanted to say it. So it was uh, very near and dear to me. And of course, it's about my dad. So, you know, being a family guy, it's just, uh, I don't know, it definitely holds a special place. And, and then the way the fans reacted to it, it made it even more special. Well, Robert, you, your uh, last release, Don't Waste the Rain, climbed the fan-voted chart all the way to number five. Number three. Number three. Actually, yeah. yeah, you're right, number yeah. three. <laughs> well, of course you're right. So how did that just, you know, one of your songs, like, wow, um, it, it's going places. Yeah, again, it, you know, it's that stamp of approval I was mentioning a second ago. Uh, it was just put a lot of wind in our sails. Uh, you know, to be the only independent artist in the in the top running of that and you know we, we lost out eventually to Reba and Keith Urban and you know two of my heroes and big influences uh, you know it, it almost sounds cliche but it's only cliche because it's true um, that you know that's good company to be in and, uh, and just the amount of you know, re-energizing that it gave me and, uh, and really motivating me to, to write even better songs and get even better production and to just keep leveling up every time we do something and keep getting better and uh, and as that same time kind of a pat on the back to everybody on the team and in our squad that, that has worked tirelessly to try to help get us where we're trying to go. Now do you see more of a rise with the indie artists? More of a rise. The rise like there's more indie artists yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the nature of the business and the direction it's going and all the opportunity and all the, um, gosh, just the hustle that's going on with everybody. It's the power, I don't know if I want to say power, but the, the requirement of a label is diminished somewhat uh, to, to reach your audience. Uh, there's so many avenues. and. You know, there's downsides to it, but there's a lot of upsides of getting just more and more great music out to people. And at the end of the day, you know, that's what this business is about, is getting music to people. And, uh, you know, whether they buy it or whether they stream it or whether you get paid for it or whether it's for free, I know every songwriter I know, you know, we got to pay the light bill, but it's really about just getting music to people. Now, what do you do in your downtime if there is such a thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, I always make sure there's such a thing. Uh, I've never been accused of uh, working too many hours. <laughs> uh, but, no, I'm a, I'm a total water dog. I love the lake and the river, uh, anything on a boat. Uh, if you listen to our music, you know that because just about all of them somehow reference water. But uh, water is definitely where I'm happiest. So is this your first CMA Fest as an artist? And that's actually my third. third. I've only been as an artist. I never got, I've never been as a fan. Um, <laughs> and so it was pretty nice to come in strong uh, three years ago as an artist and, uh, and get to just really experience it fully. Are you still in awe over what goes on in some of the artists that you might see? Yes, I'm always in awe uh, in uh, this town. This town keeps me humble and it keeps me in awe uh, because I am a fan first and so by being an artist at CMA Fest I get to see that side of it but I also get to go as a fan and to, you know, anytime I have a free second I'm darting somewhere to see somebody play, see somebody <laughs> interview um, because I'm just as giddy as everybody else that's here. <laughs> what do you lo learn from some of the artists that you've watched, like some of the legends or some of the, you know, the standards ones uh, today? Charisma, a lot. Um, Garth is about to go on, and, you know, and I've, I've looked to Garth a lot over the years for his charisma um, because, you know, there's just certain ways that these legends and, and being in the business for a certain amount of time and having a certain amount of success, there's just, it molds you and it, it just makes you cool <laughs> and these guys that you know because they've been in the business a long time and they're so good at what they do they become so cool without even trying and that is the ultimate level of cool is when you're not trying so what do you have on store the rest of the year any no more new music a tour uh yeah we have uh we're gonna be back in the studio sometime this year uh, for some new music uh we just released always have mexico so hopefully we'll have a long nice ride with that uh it's back on the it's on the fan voted chart so we're starting to climb that chart again uh hopefully we can make number one this time and uh just uh, keep making great music and keep connecting with people because you know that's what got me in the business and that's what keeps me in the business is. so do you have more appearances here at cma fest uh yes i have a, a show this evening at 5 30 over at um distillery on second avenue and then uh actually we just uh, left nashville universe and they asked us to come back at four o'clock so i have kind of a uh, impromptu uh, autograph signing so if you guys are around and want to come by see us uh, so we've 111 social media is 
like the thing. So yes. where can everybody find everything about you? Uh, Travis Rice Music, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or TravisRiceMusic.com. Just if you just put in Travis Rice Music, you'll find us. Well, thank you, Travis. It was so great to meet you this year, yes. and uh, enjoy the rest of your CMA Fest. And we'll be watching you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.